Hey, what's up everybody? So, we're gonna get these earplugs out real quick. I wanna to talk to you today about this gun right here. This is the Kimber KDS-9C, the railed version. This gun has become a favorite of mine. Uh, this gun is now my carry gun. This gun is mine. Um, been playing around with it for a little bit and I'm liking a lot of stuff about it. I wanna tell you, tell you those things today, what those things are. So for the size gun that this thing is, okay? So it's in the, uh, in the Glock 19 size. Uh, it's actually almost exactly the same size as the Glock 19. Uh, size and weight, very, very similar. This gun weighs one pound, 10 ounce, the way it sits with a 15 round magazine full of 124 ground grain ammo. It weighs two pounds, four ounces. So the gun's pretty light and easy and a good size to carry. Um, so that's uh, you know, features that I'm digging about the gun. You know, size and weight, and then uh, it's a shootable gun. Okay, there's a lot of small guns out there that you could have for you know, if you're an EDC gun or your home defense gun or whatever, but um, you know, a lot of those guns in the small sizes and weights and everything just are not fun to shoot and definitely don't do stuff like that, you know, or don't do it very, very easy at all, right? Um, this one lends itself very well to training. You know, I'm kind of a kind of a fan of training. You know, I think if you carry a gun, you ought to be able to be proficient with it and you have to train to be proficient with it. And if it sucks to shoot the gun, you know, if it hurts to shoot the gun, you're probably not gonna train a lot. Well, this guy right here does not suck to shoot, all right? So um, you go check out Kimber's website, you see a few more details on it and whatnot, but it's very 1911-ish on the top end, controls and whatnot, uh, just has the thumb safety there, um, ambi thumb safeties, the uh, mag release is ambi, uh, very unique kind of uh, mag release as well. Uh, I find that this mag release is large enough uh, it really doesn't stick out a lot, but the shape and the way it kind of comes back uh, is super easy to manipulate the magazine release with your firing hand thumb without having to break your grip and without having to have a very large or extended or protruded magazine release, which is kind of key for uh, concealed carry. We want the gun kind of, we want the guns kind of nice and slick for something like that. Um, very 1911-ish up on top on the, uh, the slide side of the house. So you get uh, some of that lockup stuff, some of the way those things work. Uh, the weight in the slide kind of helps soak up recoil so it doesn't suck to shoot. Uh, 1911 style straight push to the rear trigger stuff. Um, and as far as I know right now, uh, all the trigger component stuff, hammer sear disconnector uh, is straight 1911, a little bit different stuff on the uh, hammer strut and spring length or main spring stuff and everything. But uh, like I said, once again, check uh, Kimber stuff or specifics, but that's been kind of my findings as well. Um, guns are accurate. Um, you know, I'm going to do a dot on it. This one's optics ready. Uh, I'm currently running it with, um, you know, the iron sights on it or iron sights. Uh, I found that, you know, it's a rear or the rear notch back there is a Glock dovetail. So I put my OG or one of my uh, OG Glock rear sights on there and a fiber optic front. And I'm really liking that combo. Pops really nice. And uh, I have some other thoughts about, you know, iron sights or dots for defensive shooting. Uh, but I'm gonna try the dot on it as well, but you can get different plates and run pretty much any dot you want to on it. Um, triggers tunable, like if you wanna get into that, and it comes pretty nice out of the box, but if you wanna tune it, um, if you're competent or have a, uh, a gunsmith that can set it up and tune it, kind of 1911 style tuning, that's all out there available for you as two railed, so if you wanna run a light, rock on, you know, but um, there you go, there's a kind of a rundown on it. Um, you know, big takeaways. Um, you know, it's a comfortable gun to carry, it's small, it's light, it conceals wear well, not super heavy to carry, it shoots well, okay? It's actually fun to shoot. And not a lot of our carry guns are fun to shoot. Um, I recommend this gun to like the person that's looking for one gun. Now I'm not that person, all right? Guns are like kind of golf clubs kind of to me. I got different ones that do different things, you know, and there's different things I like about certain guns, you know? Um, you know, like a straight up performance gun. I've got something else that kind of fits that niche, you know, but for the person looking for one gun that they would, you know, use for home defense, that they would conceal carry and then train with, maybe take some classes and training and stuff with and enjoy shooting and it's pleasurable to shoot. And it's a pretty daggum cool looking gun too. You know, if you want to own a nice pistol, this is a nice pistol, okay? Um, I would recommend this gun for those folks, you know? Um, and anybody that's looking for a nice pistol, a nice, well, good shooting pistol, comfortable pistol to shoot for your everyday carry, I'd recommend this for that as well. That's kind of the niche I'm in. I've got bigger guns that lend themselves to performance a little bit better for you know, a lot of the things that I do. Uh, but for, 
you know, a carry gun that I want to go put some reps in and train with, you should, everybody should. I really like the performance features of this gun and it's not so big and heavy that it's uncomfortable to carry or hard to conceal, you know. Um, they did some pretty neat stuff on uh, features and whatever. If you get in there close on it and look, now this one's kind of all beat up and busted up because I've been dragging it around and, and really using it, you know, but there's some kind of neat looking um, fluting on the barrels, bull barrel, kind of neat fluting there, kind of neat fluting back there on the chamber. The uh, slide manipulation cuts, that's what I call them anyway, but the cuts on the slide um, look really cool, but they're also super functional and they're not sharp. A lot of times when people kind of go overboard with you know attacking the slide with a mill, uh, they end up with a lot of sharp edges that kind of suck to manipulate. Not the case here, you got some wraparound stuff, so it's uh, easy to kind of manipulate from the front, which is kind of where I do it. Uh, if you're wired to kind of work it from the back, that's all pretty good too. But there's a little short rundown, the Kimber KDS-9C railed version. Go check it out, see what you think.